Here in Zephyr, and today we're checking out the early access to Shores of Lossy. At this point, if the game has something weird going on in the pronunciation of the title, it should be disclosed somewhere by the developer, like I'm just gonna butcher them over and over. I've got an access to this project pretty long time ago. <laughs> it's not really my fault, like before I complained there's not much to do. But now there's just so much, with two playthroughs incoming in July. Other early access stuff still pending to do. Vacation period incoming, so I need two weeks of uploads. I might be complaining now, but it's better to do something now than nothing at all. So Shores of Lossy is a narration based puzzle game where you're creating worlds around you by piecing things together in form of floating islands that create whole cities. Definitely a direct comparison for me is puzzling places. In shorts though, instead of completing a set number of pieces, you actually attach things on top of things, meaning you start from a simple system and then it grows in difficulty as the island gets bigger and bigger. A clear standout is clearly the art style. It's something that I've not seen yet and in the gameplay I felt like everything was built from ground up by the developers. If that's the case then definitely kudos to the art designer. It's one of those meditative and peaceful experiences which appear more and more on the official store. I feel like this could hop on it as well. I'm not totally sure what should be upgraded or added to be approved by Meta there. Hand tracking could be a very cool addition too, seeing it's rather slow paced game with visual mechanics that you don't really need controllers for. It's cute for what it is, I don't really have many notes on it because if you create a simple concept and it works well, what do you want more from it? That's a good way of creating a proper game, keep it simple and polished. Let's go to the gameplay! Okay. Mysterious. Sometimes, sometimes I can feel that I'm small, insignificant, and also powerless. But isn't it true that I feel those feelings just the same as those who feel big, important, and powerful? My gracious belief has always been that life is a time for growth and evolution. And now, now I'm slowly gaining insight into the mysteries of my world. Am I just a small cog in the big wheel of time? Or am I a giant, able to move heaven and earth to create a reality that was once just a dream? Don't drown me. <laughs> Is it possible for me to take charge of my own destiny and find a way for elements to collide in harmony? I strive to make a difference. I have no choice, really. So, if this is what it takes, then this is what I'm willing to do. Was that too analogy to apocalypse? The icebergs melting. Everything is small, and rebuilding my once forgotten world is where I must begin. That is so trippy, but very cool. The graphics are weirdly high quality. I'm not sure if it's due to the hardware or just like the overall art style. Huh. I feel like I'm watching a film at this point. Then it should be on the official store, like those watching experiences. Oh. Open close menu. Okay. Oh, it's like reaching for things. Huh? <laughs> it's like constantly something is going on. The transition. Am I dropping acid? Wait, 
I guess we just join like things into creating. I mean, it's not necessarily challenging if you just handle it like that. Maybe it's meant to be like a yoga or meditation application. Oh, okay. Well, see. Oh, wow. I had to turn. <laughs> Go! I wish there would be more challenge overall. But maybe it's just not the premise. Oh wait, I built one puzzle to go to the next ones. Alright. Jesus. Will this piece now? Uh huh. It should reset in place. Oh wait. Now it's getting harder. <laughs> Moving here, pole people. So, like, we do small puzzles and then it kind of appears in the world. That's fun. I have to like look at the edges of the environment, kind of similar to what was it? Ah, yes, puzzling places. I need to look for something, I don't know, resemblant of the other island. Okay, well, I complain about the difficulty. <laughs> now it's getting somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, more? <laughs> That's definitely fun that we just join pieces all together to create a whole ass world. It's not really like guiding you, you actually have to think <laughs> for once. Okay, I see. Because some uh, puzzles have like holes into them. Or maybe it was just one. No, yeah. There are some, so that might be some guidance to where to connect things. Then my hands like get a workout from just spinning things simply because you're doing it in air. I'm not quite sure what to do now. Like I really need to pay attention to just the environment, the layout, maybe where those people go. Maybe also looking at the bottom could be helpful. <laughs> Okay, so this one definitely goes here. <laughs> I broke the system. Oh my god, more? Yeah, this strat is amazing. Like, you just look at the sharp edges and where it's supposed to go. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't see the surface, but 
the end result is what counts. Oh my god, it's like not ending. It's gonna be so huge. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here and this is definitely something unique. I mean, very similar to puzzle places. Here we kinda just fit things into things, like going from one small puzzle to like the whole islands and stuff. So you don't just put randomly things and then jump to other areas. You have no choice but to build things on top of each other, creating a whole system of environments. Graphics wise, I think it's very accurate to quest overall. Everything is generated, there's no like weird shadows or textures going on. It's I feel like an actual developed art style, not just basic assets. It also grows in difficulty piece by piece. Definitely a pro tip is just to turn around, look at the sharp edges because there's definitely a difference between cut ones and more polished, which is not gonna be interactable because it's finished. Pretty cool concept, I'm not sure what it has to do to jump into the official star. Maybe some polish in terms of UI or introduce hand tracking, but all in all well done, so we'll see how it's gonna go.